Uh, my name is Maria. I am 27. And um, although I was born in Spain, I am now living in Brussels, where I work as an intern for the European Network of Migrant Women. I've always, yeah, I've always considered myself a feminist, and I've always been very proud of defending women's rights out loud. However, I can assure you, I have hesitated for a long time uh, before making this video. And believe me, it is not because I think I have nothing to say or because I have, I think there's nothing to do. But I, yeah, I could, for, for instance, ask for the urgent need for special measures to protect women in the face of any humanitarian crisis. But I don't really feel comfortable in front of this camera because I don't think that anyone from the Beijing Platform for Action will stop and listen to me. Uh, although it, in its beginning, the platform took in, uh, into account uh, the, the point of view of women's rights activists and NGOs. To say the truth, I have the impression that the, the Beijing platform has become a faraway entity. I believe that today it is, an excessively, it is excessively institutionalized and that the voices of those women who are not part of high-level political debates are not fairly present in the discussion. So this is my demand today for Beijing Plus 20. Just bring the discussion back to us, uh, to young women and men, to grassroots movements and to NGOs, to associations that deal every day with gender equality and human rights issues, and transform the Beijing Platform for Action in what it is meant to be, a platform where the civil society can also raise their voices of, uh, in front of global issues and where disempowered social actors can uh, find support, share resources and also share experiences. So thank you for listening and have a very good day.